Hello all is Sharon and today's video I'm back with what's in our work boxes for the month of January. I'm so sorry for the late update but hopefully I'll give you some ideas for upcoming unit studies. So in the month of January we were just talking about winter, snow, ice, the ice age, stuff like that. So um, I did change our work boxes before it was like a two system with a stair light at the top and then this um, teal colored cart. And then I had different labels on them. Some of the categories, I put two categories together. I did change the labels. I originally had them on a clear uh, thing that I colored in. But I did make it out of cardstock. And then these are Velcroed on. So if I ever want to switch the labels, I can easily do that. I still do have the stars on the side. So when he completes his work, he can put the star inside the bin. So I'll start with the math and thinking skills. So in here, we have a couple of worksheets left. There's this saber tooth tiger dot to dot and then a maze and then this is fun this is a snowman counting game so basically you have to like there'll be a number and you have to add the correct amount of dots or the word to complete the snowman so we've been having fun with that that came from scholastics and then as usual his clock is in here with his workbook time and money and then we have these little snowflakes these came from Dollarama in two separate packages. I just added the clear ones and the blue ones together. And then I have these little igloos here. And I wrote numbers inside them. So uh, we've been playing a little game where you roll the dice and then you got to find the correct number on the igloo. If you don't find it, you got to put it back. So it's like a memory game of where the correct number is. So yeah, that was in our math and thinking skills workbox. This is another one that I combined. So this is now language with reading and spelling. So in here we have a couple of activities. I have these little scholastic readers. These are always fun. Just a couple of words on each page. So yeah, these are like the winter theme ones. And then I have this mat here. This came from Dollarama. It come, came with like um, all these little figurines from the Ice Age movie. So he's been taking out the mat and telling me different stories about the Ice Age. And then we have this fun here, uh, book here. This one is uh, Arctic Animals. And again, he's just been telling me about all the animals that he sees in the book. So yeah, this is pretty fun. He tells me little stories about what he sees in the pictures. So, yeah. and so that is that. And then this I kind of came up by myself. I just found images at the beginning letters of ice and snow. So for I, I did igloo, and then I have these little magnets here, so you'll just match the I to igloo. I got the, and then so on, like the C for coat. So yeah, that's how we've been doing that little activity. Up next is the writing one. So in here, we just have this little polar bear notebook, and then there's a pencil in his uh, sharpener, and there's a dry erase marker because I've been getting him to practice spelling out his full name and then with the notepad we've just been writing words like snow ice and he's just been practicing and then we have like our story journal and stuff like that in here so yeah those are usual things that are in there up next is social studies so this has been a lot of fun this little calendar came from dollarama so it has like the day and then sometimes there'll be like a fun like fact or an act um something that's taking place it will stay focused on that day so it's not really focusing on it oh there's leap day this is international polar bear day so in here we have for social studies we have what is the ice age and where is antarctica i love these what and uh, where and who books are absolutely fantastic. They always have a lot of information and some illustrations, but they're fun. Up next is the STEM one. And inside here, we have a bunch of different Q-tips. Also in his science drawer, there is the uh, snow book. Learning about different ways snowflakes look. So he's been making his own snowflakes out of these cotton swabs. We have some of these balancing rocks these are the wooden ones and i just pulled out the blue ones so you can make little like caves for the animals and then i got these on amazon these are little ice cubes but they are not completely square they have bumps and ridges in them 
So he's just been trying to stack them up as high as he can to make a tower without them falling over. This is the science and nature one. So in here, oh yeah, we still have two more worksheets to complete. So he has one about the woolly mammoth and like the body parts of that. And then he has one about the saber tooth tiger with his green pen. And then this has been a lot of fun. He's almost out of his conditioner. But we've been mixing conditioner with baking soda. And he's been making his own snow. And then we've been looking at this book. This is the story of snow. So it just talks about snow. And there's different types of snowflakes in here. So yeah, this is a really nice, beautiful book with real images of snow. And how they crystallize. Yeah, beautiful book. Then we have motor skills and practical life in one bin. So in here we have a couple things. There is scissors because he was making snowflakes. So we have just a clipboard with some cardboard behind it. And he's been using this. Is this one? Yes. Here a large push bin. He's been doing a lot of these. He it looks like he's been working on the middle one. So that was one activity. And then... We had this too, this was just some pipe cleaners and then these little flower sequins, so kind of looked like snowflakes, so he was lacing those on there. And I don't see the stop on this, so he must have taken off, but there was a stop on here because we haven't really had any snow. This was for practical life to shovel snow. He did it a couple times when there was a little bit of snow, but we've been getting a lot of rain, so the snow's pretty much gone now. And then he has this one snowflake he made and then some paper. So yeah, and then he has this too, so he can design little, he wanted this like little paw print thing. But yeah, that was a fun work box. Up next is Sensory. Pretty much gone now, but he has a snowman little, um, this is by Play-Doh. And it has the snowman on it, and then it has like little areas where you can add the Play-Doh. It came with blue and orange. I just put it in a Ziploc bag. And you can just uh, push it through these little, like the candy cane, the arms there. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun with this. And then this, I'm surprised he actually tried it. Because last time I checked, he didn't try it. So uh, this was three of them. They were like a little snowflake. I think it's called peppermint bark. And I had already eaten two. And it looks like he did take a little bite off the corner. So that was just for a tasting experience. We have art next. And so here, there's, um, yeah, we've been doing a lot of these with the do dot markers. So it looks like he still has a snowflake one to do. And then, oh yeah, this was a lot of fun. It's hard to tell, but he was doing rubbings. And I have these old coins. They're from the Olympics. So this one was a skier. And this one, I believe, is a figure skater. Yeah, so he was doing some rubbings. This is from the um, Winter Vancouver uh, Olympics 2010. So yeah, he was just doing some rubbing for those. And then he just has snowflake stickers and some cardstock. Lastly is the fun bin. It's not really focusing on, but it does say fun. Pretty much like last month, there's different little gems and glass stones, little pearls. And they do styrofoam things and cotton balls. But this time I added the Safari LTD tube of the prehistoric animals so we have like the saber tooth tiger and the woolly mammoth so yeah he's just been having a lot of fun playing with these creatures so i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope i gave you some ideas for some winter activities you might do in your classroom thanks a lot for watching this and i will talk to you in my next video take care and bye for now